ever since I was a little kid. I used to build the lowrider bikes and then it just matured from there. Um, first car I ever drove was a 64 Impala. So needless to say, I got hooked on the convertible Impalas. I build all my stuff. I will have minor work done elsewhere, but I'm not a shop guy. Um, I like to say it's a carport custom. How much of this car have you touched? Every inch of this car, I put my hands on it one way or another. Um, from the ideas, to the paint colors, to the actual physical assembly, all came from my hands. My name is Jose. I'd like to introduce y'all to my 68 Impala. I deemed La Otra. Uh, been a few years since we've been putting her together, but she's ready for the streets. So I'd like to introduce her to but Amani is the rim, you feel me? Yeah. Oh, look how I look. What made me pick the Amani? The Amani's like are the hardest new rims that's out. You feel me? Like upgraded to the right company. Especially on these old school. Look how I look. It's done. Look how I look. Super clean. I'm clean. Yeah, I mean, nice. I'm, I'm so excited, words can't explain it. You <laughs> feel me? For real. So for the wheels, I decided to keep it original and go with the rally style with the true disc brake Chevrolet cap. And then to spice it up a little, I decided to throw the mayo and mustards on there, the bulk tires. Very sharp combination, I might say. Uh, I don't think it gets any better than a Vogue and a rally wheel. That's something really unique, we don't see that. You don't see it often, and it's more of an original style. Um, like I said, I'm a classic man, so to keep it original, that's all me. So let's talk about the engine. Well, I decided to go with a modern powertrain, so I stepped up to a 6.2 with a 6-speed, um, threw some gears, a 373.12 bolt in the rear, uh, and then I customized it with some more hydro dipping and um, powder-coated parts. And uh, how, how much of the motor work have you done yourself? I pretty much assembled and installed the motor itself. Um, I had some intricate friends that jumped in when uh, crucial times were needed to troubleshoot a few things. Uh, but between those guys and myself, we were able to put it together and, and get it going. So the hydro dipping is something, of course, we do in our shop. I decided it would be cool since I, I spent a lot of these $100 bills in this build to put it on the valve covers, on the pulleys, motor mounts, and the brake calipers. Um, all blue face hundreds. Took a lot of time and patience to be able to get the parts acquired and get everything put together in the style that I wanted. Um, I actually enjoyed the build, something I did on my spare time and uh, took a lot of pride in doing. How long did it take you? Roughly seven years, start to finish. And uh, how much money, if you don't mind me asking, did you get, what was your investment in this? I mean, out of pocket, cash invested around 50K. 
Um, I saved a lot, a lot of labor time and money doing a lot of things myself. Um, so, like I said, I enjoyed the build, saved a few bucks doing it myself, uh, and I think it came out pretty darn nice. So this is a custom hydro dip blue wood grain. We decided we wanted some color match with the paint, so we went with the original Grotto blue color, and then we uh, hydro dipped the black wood grain over it. Uh, we also do that custom for anyone interested, um, hydro dipping any type of parts, any type of pattern, the sky's the limit. How is that stuff priced? Uh, it's basically priced by the print. So depending on the type of print or the style of print um, and the part size. Uh, so really we just gotta see the parts and uh, we can put a price together for you. And uh, what, what are the options on that? Like what, what could you come up uh, with? The, any type of print you can possibly think of. If you wanna take a picture of yourself and put it on your hood, we can make it happen. Um, any type of wood grain, any type of uh, flame, skulls, pretty much anything you can think of, we can have printed and uh, we can hydro dip it for you on any part. What's the biggest um, piece you've ever hydro dipped? Uh, we can probably do up to 48 inches by 24 inches. And then um, what about this, uh, this brush trim? So the brush trim, this is from a 62 Impala. I decided I liked the 62 turn chrome. So I made it a part of the 68. Uh, it also matches my side moldings and some trim parts that I got in the trunk. But it's uh, basically a turn chrome from the 62 Impala. And what gauges are these? So this is the VHX uh, digital dash, uh, blue in color with the brushed finish. Uh, original bezel, just the uh, upgraded uh, Dakota digital. So I decided um, to do away with some of the chrome by color matching the bumpers front and back. Um, I left the LED lighting uh, clear lens rather than the red lens, gave it a little custom touch. I did the stainless hardware just to bring some of the chrome and stainless into the color. And uh, I'm a big fan of these hips on these 68s. I always said I was an ass man and this is a uh, pretty sexy ass on this one. originally from Chevrolet back in the 60s were like a cardboard material. Um, I wanted to keep the original style but a little more uh, durability. So we went with more of a, a, a board style with the custom stitching, uh, a little bit of the hydro dip to match the steering and the centered console. Added the carpet, which is color match to the paint. And uh, I love the distressed gray leather in the original stitching. Like I said before, I'm a very fan of the 61 Impala and I love the flags. So I decided to incorporate the Impala flags in the 68. I put them on the rear seat and up on the dash. And if you noticed on the body as well. Tell me about the stitching. So the stitching, I decided to keep mostly original. I just wanted the original look and feel with the modern leathers and stitches. So we decided to go with uh, distressed leather with a baby blue stitch to bring in some of the blue into the interior. So what was your what was your take on doing the truck? Um, I wanted something that was clean and left me a little space, and um, I decided to make some custom panels. I like I said, learned the turn chrome style of the '62 Impala, so I incorporated that also inside with some custom uh, body molded pieces, 
And then I also have a system back there that's all concealed, which I like to hide. I don't really like to see the speakers. I want to know that the stuff's there and I can hear it, but I don't got to see it. And then, of course, I'm an Impala guy, so I buy a lot of uh, classic Impala magazines that are date coded. Uh, and that's what you'll find on the bottom of the trunk there. Kind of more for show. Hey, this is Dave with La Otra, and I thank you for watching Candy on Chrome. You catch me in traffic.